Hey, you're watching a small video from my larger course. If you do want the bigger course, there'll be a link just down here somewhere. Hi, in this video, we're gonna look at you and your UX career. Now, looking at this page here, I love this one, uh, CNN Money, it's the best jobs in America from last year. And uh, a, a user experience designer comes in at number 14. Um, just so you know, just in front is a dentist, and just after is an auditing director, okay? So I don't know about you, but I don't even know what an auditing director is, and I definitely don't want to be a dentist. Um, uh, user experience design is an exciting field to be in it. I'm in it, I love it, and what I really like about it is the measurability. It's my creative stuff, it's all my talents in terms of my artistic creativity, but it's measurable. I can get better at it, I can test it, I can see if people like it or don't like it, what do they like about it, what they don't like about it, and keep editing and going along. So yes, it's a cool career. The other nice thing is that it pays a lot more as well. So. If you're a senior, let's talk about senior at UX. I, I've done a little pay scale report. So this is for a senior graphic designer versus a senior, uh, a senior UX designer. And what you'll see is I've, you can go through and do this yourself. I've picked a senior UX designer in Austin and I've compared them both in the same place. You put in your town. I haven't put in lots of qualifications and stuff which can kind of adjust this, but it's just a good kind of guess to see. You can see the medium here is about 100K and the median for a senior graphic designer is about half that. So there is a big price difference when you get to kind of uh, a UX designer with some experience. If you are brand new, or say you've um, say you're a you know a really accomplished graphic designer or a web designer, um, but you're moving into UX, you're gonna have to start at the kind of bottom of the UX pile, which is fine. But you can't expect a big jump. So say if you're on a certain pay bracket now and you're moving in, um, and, you know, and you want to move into UX. Um, there's not going to be huge, uh, you know, of equivalent experience. There's not going to be a huge pay difference. But what you will find is that there's a lot more opportunity out there. If you are, and you know, if you're looking for a graphic design role, there's very few jobs out there for a pure graphic designer these days. And there is a lot for, um, you know, for a UX designer. So there's a lot, you know, the pay might not be different, but there's a lot more um, things to pick out of and you'll have a bit more of a choice of where to work and locations, those types of things. But when you do get to the senior roles, you can see there's a huge price difference. That'll live out, live out a little bit. Um, UX is hot at the moment, um, but there's a lot of people training in it. You're doing it, um, you know, you're, um, but lots of other people are doing it as well and it will become a little bit more saturated and that kind of like higher price. Let's have a look, you know, for us, you know, the high prices in this 130K here. Now this is data pooled, you know, where they get the data from, it's it's good, you know, good metrics and data to use from, from Payscale, but don't pin your hopes on a 100K job. Um, if you're living somewhere, if you're living like me in Dublin or an island, the pay is gonna be very different. So, um, the other thing is, is that people are looking for unicorns at the moment. Um, by that I mean that when job you see job application at the moment, you see so much, the people want so much out of a job application. They're looking for like dirt cheap, they're looking for like 30K a year and they want somebody who's you know doing all these things, they're looking for things that people that don't exist. They're looking for people that can do the UX, but also do app development, but also do web development, but also do graphic design and UX design and videography and all these things, okay, for uh, you know these kind of low prices. So don't sweat it if you are looking, you're like, man, who, you know, I can't do that, I can do bits of that. And often that's what's happening. So I do it myself. So I'm looking for a new trainer and I put in skills I want. I want them to do um, the graphic design ones. So I want them to do InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator. But then I do things like I want them to do web. So I want them to do and you know, HTML and CSS and JavaScript and Node.js and Angular. And then I go through and I add, oh, I want them to do After Effects, motion graphics and all these sorts of things. Cause um, there is, uh, you know, there's, there's lots of people to pick from at the moment, okay? And I'm not actually looking for all of those skills. I'm looking for people that have most of them and they might flip flop into one camp. They might be some, they might be web designers who do a bit of video, but not much graphic. Or well, they might be graphic designers who do a little bit of web but no video. And it allows me to kind of pick from that pool. Okay, so if you have got jobs and you're like, oh, I'm pretty close to that, but I don't have any of these skills, still apply. Okay, because you know, people are just looking for too much these days. And um, if you have got a job and you're like, oh man, I wonder if I can even apply for it, or you don't even know what the terms are. They're asking for something, you know, um, and you're not even too sure what that term is. 
because we're talking about um, you know, UX strategist or a senior UX designer, but sometimes they call them lead designers or middleweights, or if the language isn't like, confusing for you, if you're not sure if you should apply or how you should get your portfolio together to apply, what they'd be expecting, send me a note, okay? Either through the website or I'm Twitter at uh, Dan Loves Adobe. Check out our Facebook. There's lots of ways of getting in contact with me, and I'd love to kind of have a look at their ad and see whether, you know, uh, what they're expecting if you need a bit of help. Okay, so that's you and your new UX career. Let's go on to the next video. Hey, did you enjoy the course? If you want to see the full, big, long, unedited version, there'll be a link just down here.